when things are changing, you need to change yourself. And so when I saw Nollywood stars, movie stars like Kanayo, Kanayo, and the rest collaborating with, excuse or forgive my language, what people term as ordinary skit makers, it was quite unbelievable for me. Be <laughs> DJ Hello beautiful people, welcome to the channel DJ Paco Rich right here on YouTube. I know you're watching all the way from Nigeria and it's exciting us, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. But in Nigeria, I'm addressed as Mazi. Some they call me Yotumba, some they call me Siriki Siriki, some they call me SM. I mean, I respond to all these beautiful, you know, titles and all that because I deserve it. I know they deserve it. Ah, I deserve it. So today we are going to have a conversation about Nigerian skit makers. Some beautiful things that they are doing, which I feel other African people should emulate because this is one of the best things they have done that is growing their industry you see there are people in this world that when technology or things are changing they refuse to change i mean they want to be at one place and always say they are the old g and so i remember right here in ghana ghana post sat down when internet was making waves now there are a few people who are you know posting letters i'm sure it's not exclusive to ghana but other countries when things are changing, you need to change yourself. And so when I saw Nollywood stars, movie stars like Kanayo, Kanayo, and the rest collaborating with, excuse or forgive my language, what people term as ordinary skit makers, it was quite unbelievable for me because, I mean, these are people that watch the likes of Kanayo, Kanayo, Mr. Ibu, and the rest, Charles, and, you know, all these guys. And then, they never dreamt of meeting them. And this thing has been one of the major strengths of Nigerian movie or skate industry, which I personally, I feel other people should emulate, because I would say in Ghana, we don't see a lot of our skit makers or superstars collaborating. I mean, when was the last time you saw somebody like Jackie Apia doing a skit or Nadia Bwari or Majid in a skit? The guys I've seen them, it, I think it's Yvonne Nelson that did even one with Nasty Black. And I think we need to do more of these things and it will grow our industry. Trust me. Nigerians will fly all the way, come to Ghana, and they will collaborate with our people. But a skit maker in Ghana who they see himself say they up there, you know, won't collaborate with a fellow skit makers. And I love the spirit about Nigerian people. See, the one that is up there, I mean, when Mr. Uh, uh, Fanny Sabinus was in his prime, then we saw the likes of Fanny Bros. We all saw that Fanny Bros was working in the shadows of Mr. Ibu. But uh, forgive me, uh, Sabinus. Fanny Bros, Fanny Bros was working in the shadows of uh, Sabinus. But Sabinus never saw Fanny Bros as a threat. But he rather collaborated with him, made a great skit. And then the guys, uh, uh, how do you call? Position in the skate industry became so strong and solid. There are countless of scenarios that I can give you. The likes of Nas Boy, this guy. I mean, if there is anybody who can make collaboration so beautiful, give it up for this, my man, Nas Boy. This guy would drop a song and superstars. When we talk about superstars, just, just not ordinary stars or big stars will collaborate with him and do stuffs. It is beautiful. I have seen Kanayo Don Jazzy. Which label owner in Ghana here would do a skit with a skit maker? Because, excuse me to say, they, they see themselves too big. But you see, forgetting that you have a record label, you release a song and you might need 
these same skits makers who have this following to promote it for you. If you have this relationship with them, it makes it that easier. That's why Don Jazzy would drop a song. He would just call Sydney Nasty Black. So I'm, I'm not sure he calls them. Once they see that Don Jazzy has a project going on, Papa, they drop on it they, they, and they are so creative. They become creative. They, they create creative piece around the song and they help in the pushing of the song. And they all grow together and they make money together and they chop together. But where I am, it is not like that. And so like I'm saying, collaboration has been the key and foundation of the success of these kids makers. Let me make mention of this guy, Joff, uh, Josh Tufani. This guy, Asheke dropped a song. They don't see it, 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 it coming. This guy did that Igbo version of the song in some country I know. Somebody will be treating you or threatening you with a lawsuit because you have resampled a song that they have released. From where I come from, when somebody wants to release a song and another person is releasing a song, the person becomes an enemy. But ask yourself, who listened to one song on his iPod or iPad or music, like music devices? You, 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 you do playlists. So if my brother is re releasing a song, what stopped me from also releasing a song? But where I'm from? If this Shatawale the dropper, when Stoneboy drops, it becomes a problem. When Sarkodia drops a song and Shatawale drops a song, it becomes a problem. Why? Let's collaborate and do things. And you see, Nigerians are doing this and it's growing. After all, you see a Nigerian playlist as solid as rock. Because you have Rema in there, you have Asheke in there, you have Devido in there, you have Better Boy Whiskey playlist back to back. So you, before you will finish enjoying the playlist, you will know that Nigeria has been soaked into your soul. And that is what I'm talking about. Not leaving the ladies out. They are all doing their own quarter to make these things happen. And see, Nigeria, do not make mistake. Never in your life think of, uh, we, we are going to stop collaborating each other. That is that winning trick you guys do not know. That other African countries are not singing that. Everybody feels that, oh, I have uh, one million views uh, or one million followers, and so I want to be on my own. That guy gets 500. But ask yourself that that 500 that that person have is it the same audience that you have? So what stops you from doing a collaboration with him? Because he is going to introduce you to his audience and you will also introduce him to your audience. And it becomes a beautiful thing and you all grow together and you win together. So what is all this unnecessary rivalry to the extent that they don't even comment under their own post? But let Nas Boy drop a video. The first 10 comments you see is from Nigeria celebrities. Let Sini drop a video. You see their own celebrities commenting under. Some of you, I'm a star. Why should I go and comment under a video? Even when you comment under their video, just to give a like or show appreciation, that one becomes a problem. That's one becomes a problem. May Allah bless all of us. So let's guide ourselves with knowledge and push ourselves to success. Let's learn from each other. I love what that lady told Brain Jota that let's come together and once we come together, we will win. It is not always about money. But when we collaborate, the, the chances of we winning more is high. My name is DJ Parker Rich. I don't know what you think about this, but you are allowed to also share your opinion and your views on this particular topic. Right here from Ghana, I'm sure you're watching from your comfort homes. You are in USA, UK, Italy, Dubai. Let me know where you're watching from and drop a comment. And let me know what you think about the collaboration and the love between Nigeria. They should keep it up, my brother. Cut it. D D
DJ Paco Rich.